I'm Rachel Knight, and this is Reviews of the Nerds. Today, I'm reviewing the video game adaptation of Sentinels of the Multiverse. This game originated as a cooperative card game first released at Gen Con 2011 by Greater Than Games. In Sentinels, 3 to 5 players each control a comic book style hero and team up to fight against a villain in an environment. Every deck has its own complexity and strategy, so depending on your setup, your game can be anything from a quick victory to a tense and difficult battle. Later expansions added a team villain mode, and the final expansion challenges a group of heroes to fight against a cosmic entity bent on destroying the multiverse itself. The new definitive edition of this card game was released in 2022. Sentinels the Multiverse the Video Game was released in 2014 as an adaptation by Handelabra Games of the original card game. I've actually played on my laptop and my Amazon Fire tablet, but it's available on all sorts of platforms. This game plays the same as the card game, though it does streamline things by automating features such as the villain and environment turns. In the video game, you can also unlock variant heroes and villains that were previously included in a separate deck for the card game. While this game is not new, it still has a lot to offer. There is a rich backstory behind the characters, but it's still an enjoyable game without exploring that lore. I play regularly with a group of friends, but I also play by myself, controlling all the heroes by myself on my own. Sentinels is not perfectly balanced, but it's not meant to be. Every combination is going to run a little bit differently. The video game tutorial explains the basics very well, Though I would definitely recommend this game only to teenagers and adults, not to younger children just due to some complexity. Be willing to lose your first few fights and don't try to learn every hero's playstyle right away. It's a lot of game to explore, so take your time. I'm Rachel Knight, and remember, the multiverse is in your hands.